What is Exile and Magic the Gathering? When our permanents and spells die, let's say, they go to the graveyard, and this indicates that the thing is dead and gone. But various cards can and do return things from the graveyards to our hands and libraries, or even back to the battlefield. Alpha was the first set to remove things from the game. It was a way to get rid of things for good that black could not easily just reanimate. It balanced black in a way and helps make sure you'll never see that creature or thing again. Back in the day, there was no exile. It was called removed from the game zone, as told by the uncard AWOL. It wasn't until Core Set 2010 that it was changed to exile. Exile means that whatever things you just exiled is now just gone forever. You literally can't get it back while playing the current game. Of course, you'll shuffle up and you can play that card again the next time. Uh, but that game you're probably playing right now, uh, that thing is gone forever. Just pretend it doesn't exist. Now, that being said, this is Magic the Gathering, and there are always exceptions to the rule. And surprisingly, there really aren't many. Mist Hollow Griffin... Torrent Elemental and Eternal Scourge are the only things you can cast from Exile. I guess Squee, you can cast him from Exile. That's as of the making of this video, and I'm talking about hard casting here, no shenanigans, which I'll explain in a sec. They can return from Exile, but there are a couple other cards that can manipulate our opponent's Exile. Eldrazi specifically, Blight Herder, Cryptic Cruiser, and Mind Raker are a few examples, though there aren't many others. They can all remove a card from exile to their owner's graveyards to get a bonus desired effect, and it specifically only works with opponent's graveyards. Now we have the other side to exile, the stuff that removes from the game and then comes back immediately afterwards. Usually flickering or blinking or something temporary that puts cards into exile showing us that it's completely gone for the time that before it's coming back. Adventure spells are like this as well. Once the spell resolves, that creature goes on an adventure in exile, and this indicates that they've used the spell side of the card and that we can cast the thing from exile when we'd like. These are all kind of special exceptions to the Exile Gone Forever rule. I'm doing this a lot. <laughs> I won't go into all the nuances of that here. Journey into Nowhere type effects do something cool as well. Stuff like this is what a lot of players say as exiling under something. So the creature you exile isn't actually gone forever, but only until that enchantment or artifact or whatever it is, is destroyed or exiled itself. Exile is a kind of stretched concept and it seems a little weird at times. Just know that when something is in exile, it won't ever come back, unless a special action tells you you can do so. It's almost like a super graveyard. Anyway, I hope this helped a little bit and it didn't confuse you too much. Hey, thanks so much for watching and make sure you like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you don't miss your weekly dose of magic.